Hi everyone, welcome back to Path of Exile. Fucking Prisoner's Gate. Oh shit. So I guess we'll try out that new Warcry and- Oh, we have Leapstep. I'm actually gonna put that on middle click. Whoops. Sorry, I'm just now rearranging everything. So, I'm gonna try the Warcry. Oh, there we go. I got a damage buff and some mana regeneration. Regeneration. And, yep, and I can also leap slam around now. I do a little fucking twirl now. Dude, Duelist has best, the best leap slam animation, just saying. It is pretty good. Yeah, it is. This is not the place for summons, let me tell you. Oh We're yeah, gonna... I know. Trust me. We're just gonna follow the fucking nice I road here. This just yet. I'm trying to war cry everything, but you know, it's honestly not enough mana to stay at all. <laughs> You know what, you say it's not the best place to summon minions? I like my minions. Fuck you. <laughs> my little army of bones. I mean, it's just the fire damage that they cause on the ground in just this specific area. Oh look, there was your the burning menace, or as Pat calls it, the Grand High Fire Dog, and I fucking am lagging all over the place, holy shit. Nice internet luck. Right. Grand High Fire Dog does a lot of fire damage too. Who would have oh thought? shit, I saw a leather belt. Yeah, I did see that too. There's a little jade amulet there, might take that. So, um, some things I picked up. We just got our first leather belt. It might be nice uh, if you need some life, but I don't need life, so Pat can have that. I have a much better belt at the moment. Apparently he doesn't like his chain belt that he had before. Now there's- He does energy shield, which is poopy. Now, you gotta keep an eye out for some of these amulets. So this one is a 29 to dexterity amulet. This can fix resistances basically in a pitch. Oh, sorry, not resistances. Um, we haven't gone into stats. resistances. Stats. So you saw how I needed stats before. If I found maybe one of these, and also the vendors sell these kinds of things. You know, you can kind of, like, if I, I don't really care about life regeneration. If I needed to fix re stats, that's probably more important. Uh, so you can do that as well. Because you can see my stats here. Some of it gives life, some ability physical damage. It's mana energy shield and some accuracy and evasion, so it's kind of cute. it kind of goes into what their defenses, uh, their defenses and offensive skills are, kind of a thing. Uh, we do have resistances, by the way: fire resistance, cold resistance, lightning resistance. Uh, really, I'm not going into it too much right now because it's kind of like I mean, they're fairly straightforward. Oh, she's rude. Well, now we can't go anywhere. This requires Yo. some sort of key. All your skeletons are making it, your, your zombies are making it through. <laughs> they can make it in and out! Why can't we do that? So piety, because we have organs. So piety decided to block us off. Hey, ground slam. Staz or maces. Maybe we'll use that at some point. I mean, I do have that, that giant fucking, like, mace back at base, but I don't know. Sorry, I don't know if I want that. Back at base. Yeah. So the good thing about Leap Slam is like, let's say I want to go across the, up here. Oh, I can go up here. Impassable terrain doesn't matter anymore. Pat probably didn't take anything like that. Shut up. Yeah, I'm alright. I'll get it eventually. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get that mace actually. I'll be back in a second. I'm gonna go get Flame Dash. <laughs> <laughs> I know better. I, Mike, I learn slowly, but I learn. All right, so double strike doesn't work. Oh no, actually it does. It does work actually. Yeah, double strike works with almost anything. All right, let's put that on that thing. So we're gonna use a small. We're gonna use a really like kind of a weird weapon. We're taking off cleave for now. Maybe I'll put cleave on here for now so it levels. Uh, okay, so I kind of switched up my abilities to now. I have this giant mace. We now have ground slam. We still have double strike and stuff. Uh, now Pat needs to go back to my portal. Ah, sorry, yeah. I, I mean, honestly, if you hover over the tooltip, it tells you DPS. Uh, but I haven't really paid attention to DPS, so... I mean, I just... Uh, I know. Right now, I don't care, but if you find two weapons, you can just use that DPS number, and you can kind of equip the other weapon, let's say, like this. Apparently, this mace does more DPS, who would have thought? I mean, but it is a mace. It's a very slow weapon, though. So now, now I'm fucking slamming the ground. So now we kind of went from, like, this fucking fast action, like... Like, sword, bullshit, to now I'm fucking just hitting the ground with the mace. I think it looks fast. Uh, well, Pat also cannot drive for the life of it. Oh, fuck you. I can drive amazing. Mike's got, Mike's a fucking monster, alright? I'm just letting you guys know. Alright, don't ever drive with him. He's terrified. 
I have a car that goes fast, and Pat decides. Wow. We're in the mountains. Oh, my car can take these curves like nothing. It just eats the curves. Don't matter. It's a sheer drop off. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, mate. Fucking yeah. I'm totally gonna drive with that again. Thank you. The funny, the funny part was I slowed down for him, and everybody was passing us. Yeah, that, you know what? That you're not wrong. I, I, I went to go see Pat like literally last week, or actually, it was still this week. Was it? Yeah, it was still this week, technically. Yeah. But we, I came back just in time for Pat to back south. Oh, it's like it was planned. Oh, not really. It's fucking other stuff. Pat lives in Boonie Town. You do realize we went to Boon. Like, that's a, like, you know, that's a thing. Boonie Town. Not even an insult at this point. It's like a fact. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, who All says right. I'm being insulted? Uh, you think I'm being insulted? I don't think I'm being insulted. Oh, okay. All right, Pat can go up there. I'm gonna go down here. Oh, I'll oh, Pat use Flame Dash. It's you know, what, since we were talking about Razer products, you wanna, you guys wanna know something funny? I actually have a Razer keyboard. My grandmama bought it for me when I was just a little baby, Pat. And that's the keyboard. Mike decided that's, he was. That's the keyboard that's literally falling apart. Yeah, Mike. Mike literally went to sit on my serious. chair and he touched it and it went Kunk! like yeah, that. Yeah, it fucking loud cracked. Shit. Like, yes. like it didn't even make a noise. It's just a plastic fucking like fitting into like a slot or something. <laughs> yeah, that is the cheapest keyboard I've ever I've ever seen. I'm sorry, dude. It's like nine years old. What do you expect? No, no offense to your grandma, but Razer sucks. Dude, it's nine years. The keyboard's nine years old. Of course, it's gonna like. Make some weird noises every so often. I mean, never. It's literally a plastic piece of shit. <laughs> Mike, it glows green. All right, and I can change the colors of it. It's fancy. Why That's are we just green. out in the middle of the water? By the way, I don't know, because I want to really why, see the water. Why are first. the waves just stopping like mid-water? Because <laughs> this looks weird. Fuck you. I don't like it. I think this is some shit. We're looking for something here. So, by the way, this is one of our first skills that's actually an area of effect ability, which means it's affected by area of uh, effect increases or decreases, so... Which you can find in your local skill tree. I mean, I, t I think Cleave actually was area of effect as well. So, you know, both of them don't matter. Anyways, uh, so let me uh, go talk to this guy. Frankly, I would have been surprised if you hadn't recognized me. Yes, tis I, Captain Sigmund Fairgraves. Wave tamer, pirate bane, and conveyor of civilization to barbaric lands. So, what am I doing here? Apart from blowing my own bugle? I'm marooned, languishing, thanks to a pair of pretty blue eyes. Stuck fast in the filthy mud of Rayclast, thanks to one sultry little slave girl. I liberated her from the flesh pits of Trathos, and she repaid me in full with sleight of hand and swift feet. Turned the coat of my first mate, took my hard-earned all flame, and with it the wind out of me sails. Find my all flame, I beg of you. Till I feel its warmth again, I'm trapped here, high and dry, until the sun's final setting. All right, well, we gotta go we meet again? find this guy's all flame. Oh, guess who's fucking here? Oh my god, Talamoana already? This is why we don't talk to him. He's fucking... He's just everywhere. All the time. He's fucking... He's not even a main character. We see him more than anyone else. I him, and Navali, the him and Navali talk too fucking much. Let me tell you that right now. They Mike, have a lot to do, say. Are you, do you just not like Karui's? That's what I, I'm getting from this. Do you like Karui? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. She talks about like whatever the prophecy god is, Hinakora. Uh, like Hinakora, the goddess mother of death, wrapped me in her hair again today. One sec, I'm trying to fucking swing my giant purple mace path. Oh yeah, that's fine. Because that's completely like normal. Good on you. This is, a, this is actually a good idea to switch to. The mace. Oh, you gotta try out a new skill. It's all good. Oh, it's fresh. And you know what the really nice thing about the uh, the melee skills is, you guys? It's the fact that they only scale based upon the weapon you have, and not particularly the, the gem level. The gem levels can add other stuff, but it's really not that important. Uh, we don't need the large life class. I can have that. Uh, you know what I don't use? I don't use the war cries. 
Alright. That apparently doesn't care about. Alright. Uh, oh my god, we could just. He's just gonna run through this because this shit doesn't matter. Oh my god, I'm stuck. Oh wait, no, I've got flame dash. I can't use flame dash, I forgot! <laughs> Fuck, let me help you. Help me, Mike! Fun fact, if you have the spirit and you try to use a movement ability, a la flame dash, leap slam, and or any of the others, you drop the spirit. Go fucking figure. Yep. Usually the person with the most, like, movement speed is the one that takes it, but in this case it's neither of us really. I've got two quicksilvers, I'm fast. As you honor the ancestors, you honor Oh wait, yourself. what am I talking to this guy? Fuck it. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, like for a second there, I'm like, yeah, we gotta listen to Oh yeah, to he's important. Talk. No wait, no he's not, never mind, I've been tricked. Yeah. You never, you never know if the game's pulling a fast one again. Oh, here we go, more bros. Uh, I heard bros like, Ma? holy shit, that's so fucking purple. What is? The silver coin. This is the default fucking. You should turn on. The, oh my god, it hurts my eyes. Oh my. Okay, hold on. I got. This is the. This. this is the default fucking. I, I still have that on, right? Oh my god, <laughs> that's disgusting, dude. It's like, like, bright as shit. Jesus, hew that down, bro. All right, we just got our first uh, silver coin. That's something for prophecies that the valley does. Um, honestly, I wouldn't even bother with it until like late game. Because it's it's just a waste to use them now, so we're just basically throw that the problems she's get, she gives are like tied to your level, so you could get like better stuff at a higher level, so it's just best to wait to save them up. You can use them at low levels. There's right. nothing that says you shouldn't, but you get better stuff if you use them at a high level. All right, so we're reaching a point in the game now where I'm basically starting to think about exiting my tree because I don't need shields, I don't need dual wielding, I don't need fucking projectile damage. So. We're at the stage now where I have to start thinking about leaving this tree. And so usually what I do is I start looking around here for these things. I kind of have it planned out already. Like over here is some leech. Leech is nice. Uh, over here is some more leech. Um, we can get this iron reflexes for more armor. But like I said, our end goal is actually to go up to this resolute technique node. So maybe we're going to try heading there. And we're going to find some nice things along the ways. I want to do endurance charges for this build, which we'll get into eventually. But the charges do. Um... I don't think it's that important right now to do. Uh, but we can get some life and life regen here. That's kind of nice. We can go right through there. And maybe some of these damage nodes. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to head through the life nodes and just go make a beeline straight for that accuracy stuff. Just so by the time that accuracy starts mattering, because right now my chance to hit is 92%. Usually when it drops to about 80%, you start being annoyed. Because you see attacks that aren't hitting. Uh, but yeah, usually... Usually at that point, eight, when it gets to about 80%, then you're like, fuck, I wish I had Resolute Technique. But that's fine. You okay, Pat? Yeah, I'm just letting you talk about your uh, your shit while I look at my skill tree and try, try to figure out the mess I've gotten myself into. Uh, I think we're, we've gone too far. Yeah, this is Ravern of... Uh, uh, Wavern. <laughs> Cavern of Wrath. <laughs> it does we look like a giant Wyvern skeleton. So this is, we obviously missed a side area, but we can take the waypoint that's in this area and just kind of go back. Apparently we can talk to, yeah, let's talk to Nessa, fine, fuck it. Oh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say just go back to the ship's graveyard waypoint, but that works too. Yeah, fuck it, I'm talking Nessa. Mervale dwells in the caves beyond the wrecks, at the head of Siren's Cove. Leave her be, and we can only hope that she continues to return the favor. If you must take your chances with the Siren, then have this. It may be of some help, but please, Know that you don't have to do this. Tarkley and I are getting used to having you around. Ah, I think she thinks I'm gonna die. You're not going to? I don't know. She's like fucking going like we're getting used to having you around. Alright, so we have Last Rate, which is one of the skills I actually really did want to use. But we also have Sweep, which is fucking cool. It's, uh, when you, it's when you want to have a rave. So oh, we're gonna well. take, we're gonna actually take both of them. Just Last Rate to oh, level well. up to... Hello. Yo, I mean, you got a orb of transmutation I can have. Uh, maybe. What's in it for me? Uh, I get flesh offering. Okay. What? Uh, can I? S I can't split it right now. I have a lot of fucking orbs in my fucking stash. I'm just uh, good enough. stuff. All right, let me put all this garbage away. All right, last right. Just put that over here somewhere. We have to use a sword with it, and we're not using swords right now, so... But we can have a rave, so, you know, there's a, there's a positive from all this. I think we're done with cleave. I don't think I'm going to use cleave anymore, but I'll put it in my stash just in case we change our mind. Hello. That poor skill. 
Yeah, I think I think we, no, we've seen the last of uh, Cleave for a while. Fuck Cleave. Greetings. Greetings. Is it, the, is it hit to fuck Cleave? Yeah, it is. All right. Uh, should we go back to Ship Graveyard Waypoint? I guess we'll do that. All right. Oh, you want so, Static Strike? I found a Static Strike. Static Strike? Fuck, really? You got that too? All right. Well, we'll try a bunch of stuff just so you guys can see it. So we have now Rave. Um, it's called Sweep, though. But it's called Sweep because you sweep everything off their feet. Oh. So, so hey, we better you go in here. You go. Woohoo. You know, when I first started this game, I my first build ever was actually a sweep build, and it was awful because I was being a complete <laughs> idiot. And none of his builds improved since. Oh, you are you are literally just today's Rudy Poo, aren't you? I am. So basically, it's like an ability where you just do an AOE around you, uh, and you just fucking wave your fucking weapon around. I actually fucking hate it, so <laughs> I, won't, I won't lie. So uh. we're just gonna drop that on the ground right now. Fuck, that's not it. All right. So you saw enough of that. Let's put on Statics right now. There we go. That's something slightly better. Are you putting on? Uh, did you fucking pick up that sweep? I did. I want to sell fucking it. Piece of shit. For Dude. what? Fuck. Yes. So this one makes me have like a little shock around myself, which is really not that much of an improvement over uh, sweep now that I think about it. Hey Pat, you want me to be a big guy? Come here. For you! So we just picked up his shrine. Dude, you, you're awesome like, you're one. complaining about it, but that like shock thing that's coming off you is amazing. I mean, it, it is powerful. So, I mean, this is more meant to be used with attack speed stuff. Well, oh, sorry, I was talking about the Master Shrines. The Shrines is something you add to the game. But that was also something in Diablo. Uh, they kind of added it to this game where the monsters are actually... Oh my fucking god, is that Haku again? <laughs> yes, it is Haku again. Sometimes, sometimes Haku, I swear. There's the added to that to the game, but it affects the monsters as well. Just don't talk to it. them, just walk past them. No, we gotta do it. We gotta go down there. Anyways, uh, the way that uh, well, we're not Static Strike anymore. works is... It has a duration, and then when it expires, like, you can keep refreshing it, and then it gets stronger and stronger, and then it has this big fucking discharge. It's basically like fucking... I don't know. Stuff. Hi, you just got an Orb of Chance. What is that? Oh, Orb of Chance. I'm gonna drop that and let you look at it. Yeah, we've never seen that before. Alright, this fucking ability is dog shit. Oh my god. Where's Ground Slam? Holy shit. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you want to go back to Ground Slam. I do want to go back to Ground Slam. I fucking I, I don't like these abilities. I'm sorry, guys. I just I I, I don't mean them. That don't get along. You're a picky eater. I get it. I like fucking hitting the ground and around like around me. I don't like fucking. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, I, I think I think what it is is the kind of the kind of player I am is yeah. one that likes orbs of chance. So let's look at that first before I start pitching. Upgrades a normal item to random rarity, so it can go to a uh, magic, a rare, or even uh, even a unique. So if there's a specific unique you want, you can try and roll for it. I'm so glad you just don't name by the colors. Like, I hate people that do that. Name what by colors? It could turn into a blue, a yellow, or an orange item. I mean... I, I, will, I, I know it's technically not wrong, I get it, but it still pisses me off. Do we like white items, Pat? Of course we like white items, Pat. Dude, white items are literally like the oh least God, superior of all the items. Of course they are. Fucking racist. Dude, don't even, man. Oh, we got Scour, which is removes all properties from an item. So it basically turns any item, maybe not a unique. Like it not doesn't unique. work on unique, no. Yeah, but I'm to think most items, like it'll turn it back into a white item, so you can like reroll an item. Or if there's like a nice class that you have, you don't like the mods on it, you know, there's a lot of options for it, but it's one of those things we're just going to hold on to it and leave forever. So. Alright. Oh, dude, we can have an axe now? Except I don't want an axe. Let me just put that on. Oh, let me, sorry, I was going to put an allocated skill point. Yeah, you can do that later. We, we, we've got Talamoana right now. <laughs> it's, tal it's always Talamoana time. Yeah, apparently oh, every single zone this man's in. Jesus. He by runs the way, fast. You, would, you wouldn't be able to tell us, but there's actually eight masters, but we just keep seeing the same fucking one. I mean, there's only two that can appear in, like, the beginning this of this. act. Yeah. What level is he? I don't even want to look at him. 
Oh, mine's almost a level three. Yeah. I mean, there's a reason we want to do that. I mean, he's not the worst master. He's actually probably one of the better ones, but... For you. But, well, he's better one overall, but I mean, we'll get into that another time. I mean, he helps fix resistance problems and things like that. Which we'll have at some you're point. Getting too, you're getting too complicated about the game, Mike. Uh, I, I mean, yeah. It's an ARPG. Don't story. agree with me. Fucking people can handle all the information that they want. That they want. Oh, so there's a body here. Oh, there's a slave girl here, and she had the all flame on her. Well, then, we gotta bring that over to him. So she. Always seems like the best idea. So she made it down here and fucking got killed by a siren, or I don't know what the fuck it was. I don't know, it was like a wave rider or some shit. I don't know. Well, a wave rider? Dude, that's what they're called. Alright. Fucking... What, what, why is there this giant fucking lake, actually? I just realized this now. It's not a lake! We're on the ocean, Mike. Literally, look at your map. Like, he even said... Why would his boat be here if it was a lake? Alright? Uh, I mean, he's... He like lakes. A... Okay... I hate you. Whatever, I'm, t I'm talking to this guy. My all flame, my blessed, damned all flame. Oh, you want your moment in the firelight now, do you? Unfortunately, necessity is what it is, and for the all flame to give life. It must first be kindled with life, and since suitable kindling is in short supply around these parts, I have little option but to make do with what I have. Namely, you. Please understand, as a gentleman of honor, it pains me greatly to do this. Hard times call. Sure, were the circumstances reversed, you'll do precisely that way. I'm not sure why I'm still talking to him and he just his shit just He just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Did you talk to him? No, I stood as far away from him as possible. Well, every not, day that I get to do with the legend. No, but I didn't I didn't even Thank look you, at him. Fair graves. Alright, this mallet sucks, so I mean I usually don't identify blue items. Oh, Pat opened his Jew portal. It's a portal. Out. It's a portal to the money dimension. <laughs> Fairgraves was a good man, a fine explorer. He opened the door to many a new world, for better or for worse. Usually for worse when it came to the natives. There's some peace in the knowledge that he now rests where he should. Let's not speak of Fairgraves again, shall we? He was an inspiration to many. It would be a shame to spoil a good hero. Oh boy, get a skill point. I oh, would be a shame to spoil a guy here. Greetings. All right, let me go. So, oh wait, this this plate, which probably sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Stay okay. sharp out there. It's a really low level plate that's rare, but it was a low level plate that was rare. All right. Uh, so, do you want stack strike? Oh, uh, just sell it. Who cares? Oh, for one scroll Long fragment. Live. Yeah, boy, it's a fifth of a wisdom scroll, which is a fifth of a currency item. Come on. All right, so now we've officially reached the highway nodes, and for these, you just kind of take them to anywhere you want in the tree. So they always give like ten strength, or these ones give ten dexterity, and that's how you kind of like Welcome. solve your stat issues is by doing things like that. Try to see if there's still any chromatic uh, items, and uh, just to show you guys how it works. Okay, never mind. There isn't any. Never any. All right, well, let's go. Oh yeah, we gotta go back to the caverns of Wraith. I'm only a little bit disappointed. I really feel like I should not have maim and fucking like ruthless Brutality. support. Why? I don't know, because I should have like added fire or some useful supports. Dude, they both increase your damage. You fucking increase my damage, piece of shit. Not yet I don't, but I will. Oh, yeah, you're, oh I know what you're doing now. Fuck. Yeah, I, I just spoiled it. Yeah, we're not going to go into what he's doing because it's fucking complicated. I, I had to math my build out very specifically, but yeah, it, it'll you, work. Usually if you ha if your build involves a spreadsheet, it's probably not worth mentioning in the frickin' first act of <laughs> For people who may not w really understand the game. Hey, it. you know what? I, I am like the best at math. Just focus on me and this smashy smashy, hitty hitty. 
Oh, and then me over here summoning zombies and skeletrons. Uh, this one's crap. Usually for boots, the uh, early on the best roll you can get is a uh, movement speed roll because it makes you go through content faster. But uh, we're, we just have some shitty pair of like, I mean, honestly, the boots we have, we have them for the links. We have them because they're three socketed or three links. And there's Rally and Cry again. We already have one of those though. And it's really nice because I can just fucking jump from place to place until we have that ability. Would you, would you say that you're leap slamming? Yeah, slamming. Slamming! So you can hear Merville, and you see little ghosts around if you've been particularly perceptive, but if not, then yeah. She's a siren. Oh, she's talking to us. I wait for her to turn to us, though. So a good wife. As you can tell, she's got some issues. I don't want a broadsword. Fuck it, I'll just identify it. Like, I like how you're complaining about brutality, but I'm watching you, like, you'll hit once, you'll hit twice, and then you'll hit a third time, and then you do, like, 70% of their life on the third hit. And it blows my mind that you're like, I don't know if I'd like this. Come on, yeah. bro. You know what? It's great. The thing is, I kill most things with one hit anyways. Yeah, but on the on the bosses, it's great. I mean... Suck either, it do you, up. Do you I'll, want I'll, one I'll big hit, that. or do you want to make all three of your hits big hits? Yeah, but it makes the third hit a bigger hit than any of the other hits could have done on their own with, you know, other things. I don't know. Yeah. By the way, guys, this is exactly how me and him fight all the time. It's like fucking... Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying guy. not to get into too math of it because I think you'll get mad at me I, if I I do. was gonna say we're like a married couple, but uh, honestly, we, we really are because he's fucking used that as like a trading fucking angle sometimes. Yeah, basically Holy Mike shit. makes me do all the money things and I, I scam people by telling them that Mike's my wife. And that she'd be really happy if I could get yeah. that item, but I'm not rich enough for that item. Can you give me a break? No, no, he does He does like a background check. He finds out. Shut up. Like, oh, they don't guy. have to know that I look into people's backgrounds and I use what information Freaking I can try to get. They don't have to know that. Jesus, man. And that makes me sound crazy. <laughs> he basically saw like one person played, played the game with his wife. And so he played that angle and was like, yeah, my, my wife really wants that item too. And like, didn't really fucking occur to him that like that his wife's name was Mike Lapp, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it stood for Michael, and you know you just couldn't or Michelle, right? Oh, oh shit! Dude. New character. Oh yeah. Okay, let's talk to this guy. And thus my prayers are answered. None too soon, neither. Don't look so perplexed, Exile. It's simple. God has sent you to help me look after the relics. The few remaining islands of faith in this sea of sin. The corrupted, they hunger to see faith gone for good. Chewed up and spat out by the nightmare. Not while you and I live and breathe, right, Exile? Any moment now, this holy spot's going to be buried in filth. The corrupted will pour in here, bent on eclipsing anything and everything that has been touched by divinity. I hope you're good with this shovel, Exile. Glory to the pure and mercy to the fallen. Alright, so he wants us to defend his totem. Luckily we don't have to go into anything for this. Amazing. Probably one of the ones I don't mind seeing. It's Haku we hate. Because he's Haku behind- Haku you do this long thing. It's because it's behind a loading screen. And you have to fucking... Like... You gotta do a lot of shit. You have to quit your whining! It's free content. And it's quality content Ooh. too, so don't even. There's a sapphire ring there, that might be useful. Because so Mike kind of touched on resistances at one point, but there's multiple kinds of damage in this game, be it physical, be it cold, be it lightning, be it fire, and even chaos damage, which is kind of like your generic like poison stat. And resistances basically let you take a percentage less of that damage, be it the damage over time, be it like you just did one big hit, for like that sapphire ring you found, how much le how much percent less hull damage would you take? Uh, it would add 26%. So you would take 20%, uh, 26 percent less hull damage, which is incredibly useful, especially if you know that a boss, <coughs> Marvel, um, has a lot of cold damage. The, well, I mean, you wouldn't know that, but whatever. Let me go talk to this guy. That was some damn divine slaughter you delivered there, Crusader. <laughs> yeah, did God proud today. You come visit me in Lion Eyes Watch next time you're there, for I'm more crusading where that came from. Alright, that's that guy. 
Um, and if, you, if you're an astute viewer, you'll notice that they're actually, um, all the masters are based upon classes in the game. Um, so he would be a Templar. The guy before was a, a Marauder, and, uh, and I just realized that the Marvel's up here. But she does a lot of cold damage, so we'll uh, put on that cold ring. So she does less damage to us. Resistance is R capped for elemental at 75%, so you can't just completely negate all damage. Yeah. But they're more effective than more life, kind of, early on, especially. Yeah. This is adding, it's essentially, crazy. it's adding, like, 30% effective life, kind of, in a way. It's like having 30% extra life. But yeah, it's capped. Or, or taking 30% less damage, you know, wh whichever you want to say, because... I like how we're just casually shit. beating this, uh, the fucking Aquan boss's face in. Yeah. And, like, we're like, yeah, this is how resistances work. This is all the mechanics of the game explained mathematically while I saw the Rubik's Cube. I need to find my Rubik's Cube. How good are you at Rubik's Cube, Mike? Very terrible. Oh, never I'll, mind. I'll fucking cheat at them, I don't give a shit. Oh, are you Lady one of those guys that like breaks it and then puts it back together? No, I don't even lame. waste my time with it. Oh, okay. That's that's me. Alright, I think, I think we're good with that, so let's go to Act 2 now. Do you want to look at the, the damn diary? Okay, oh, fine. Duresso gave me the gem, kissed me, promised that he would be by my side forever. I sang for him. I sang for Oriath with his gem at my throat. Kalisa's gem. Kalisa's voice. I sang in her echo, performing arias that had once made the Empire weep. I listened to Kalisa's lullabies in my dreams. I gave myself to her music. Mind. And body. Doreso left me for San with a promise to free me from Kalisa. I begged him not to go, tried to show him the wonder of my transformation, the beautiful daughters he would soon meet. He couldn't see. None of them could see. I fled from their hatred. When Doreso returns, I will cast his cure away. I will teach him what true love is. Oh, she's a fucking complicated character. That is yeah, a siren. Just a little bit. Oh, we got a spike club. That's yeah. it. Okay. So, uh, that's the end of Act 1. Welcome to Act 2. Uh, now we're in the jungle instead of being on like beaches and caves and shit like that. And now there's monkeys. Holy shit, I love monkeys. So is there anything really to say about the story in Act 1? It was basically, uh, we were trying to make our way inland, because Piety's a butthole, uh, you know, tried to kill us a couple times. Just a couple. That was just basically a big meanie. Um, she was a Rudy Poo, is what you're trying to say. I mean, that's why they call it the Passive Exo. Oh, God, fuck that fucking color. Purple. <laughs> purple as shit. I don't even see it as purple, but like the hue that they used is so bright, it's unreal, dude. Yeah, it's pretty bad, let me just tell you. It's okay, it matches my sword. Or, sorry, my fucking mace. It, it does. You're right. You're right. So this one is very, this place is kind of interesting in the fact that there's a bit of a dead end here. So I don't know, I don't know if we should summarize the story of Act 1 or anything, because we just we went through all of that shit. Basically, we couldn't we couldn't go through the forest, so we know we found another way around it, which meant that we had to kill a siren. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else to say on that subject, really. But, by the way, yeah, we're going this way first, Pat, because you know why. Do oh, I know why? Yeah, you do. So this used to be kind of like ledge, and then they kind of changed it to have this like weird dead end here. It's kind of weird, but it will it will uh, make sense in time. I just, we just want to show you uh, that. So they added a dead end here, and we we're like, "What the fuck? Why, why did they add a dead end here?" Perfectly good. It all became obvious. Perfectly good straight line. Oh yeah, it all became obvious. In time. I think it's cool as shit. Mike, in time, they will learn the tragic extent of our failings. Fucking Dankus dungeon. Exactly. I think it's very fitting for this game. Uh, By the way, I think I'm totally gonna put what is it, brutality? Is that what you have? Yeah. On my skeletons. 
Uh, that might be good. Is it, is, it, is it? Does it say it's physical damage or melee damage? It says here, ruthless is melee attacks. So it it'll affect all damage that they do with their melee attacks. Yeah, literally everything. That's awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna leave it up here. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll talk to all those fucking town people later. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye, everybody. See ya.